On the weekend, my partner, who is Taiwanese, made me an kam, which is a traditional food from Thailand. I am first generation Aussie Irish. So an Irish Aussie and a Taiwanese sat down to enjoy traditional Thai food. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke, or an early start to Harmony Week, where we celebrate the diversity of culture in Western Australia. I think back to when we arrived in Perth in the 1960s. To my school colleagues, I was the pommy kid who wore socks and sandals, who was useless at sport and had weird ideas. I created disharmony in a white middle-class school environment where sport determined where you sat in the hierarchy of acceptability and having friends. In 2020, we celebrate much more cultural diversity than in the 1960s, and we acknowledge the importance and the contribution that different cultures have made to our society. Yet, as much as we celebrate, it is also good to pause and remember that like biting into a chili in Mian Kham, diversity can still cause discomfort and bring tears. Young people can experience dislocation and discomfort as they straddle two worlds. The world of their parents and the culture they have left behind and the Australian culture they are trying to assimilate into. In many cases, such as my own, parents don't assimilate into the Aussie culture. They remain bound by the mores of the culture of their homeland. And this means children end up trying to mediate the Australian culture to their parents. The style of parenting in Australia is often vastly different than the cultures people have come from. Aussie culture is seen as promoting the individual, self-determination and personal choice, which can clash with the cultures that place emphasis on the family unit and on group responsibility rather than individual choice. There are risks for young people navigating these two worlds the world of their home and culture of origin, and the world of Aussie culture. I remember the intense shame I felt being out in social situations with my parents, the shame that their differences stood out to the Aussie parents when all I wanted to do was just blend in. Shame when it becomes unhealthy often results in poorer mental health outcomes. It can cause young people not just to socially isolate, but also to react in extreme anger towards the situation. Other issues that can be problematic include the pervasive sense of isolation and loneliness when you are trying to navigate two worlds. The increased pressure to excel because of the sacrifice parents have made in coming to Australia. The intergenerational conflict the social isolation, the language barrier, and the sense of not belonging. All these things can potentially trigger increased anxiety and or depression, which raises another topic of managing mental health issues within cultural contexts. In Harmony Week, we celebrate the rich tapestry of different cultures, different foods, different languages, and yet we need to reflect that like any tapestry, there are spaces between the threads and there are knots where the threads have broken. And so the celebration of culture and the strengths must be nuanced by the knowledge that often the migration experience is complex and challenging for many young people.